Are your sim celebrities simply not being harassed enough? Well, we're here to fix that by looking at playing as a celebrity chaser. That's right, you're about to live your best celebrity stalker life, tracking down celebrities to snag their autographs and potentially snap up a few photos as well. Note that you will need the Get Famous expansion pack for this style of gameplay, and while not essential, you'll ideally want your game to have a few celebrities that you yourself created simply because it can be fun to engage with your own sims. And with that, let's get started. First off, you're going to need a shameless sim who has absolutely no trouble harassing others. Have them settle into their home. Worlds like San Myshuno and Del Sol Valley work really well as they complement the idea that your sims want to be around the stars. Then you'll also want a room that you can dedicate to displaying autographs. Any room will do, but personally I made it kind of like an extension from my sims bedroom because I felt that screamed weirdly obsessed, which is most definitely the vibe I wanted to go for. Once settled, you're going to need a few autographs for your autograph room, because otherwise why did we make this room? Then you'll want to head out to celebrity hotspots or even just general community lots and try and track down celebrities. If you want to add to the realism, you can even set up vacation homes and then go on holidays in different worlds where celebrities live with the goal of getting their autograph. Once you locate a celebrity, you'll notice there's an option to ask for their autograph which appears either instantly or within friendly interactions. When you ask a famous sim for an autograph, there's a chance that the celebrity will be like, sure, here you go, and give you an autograph, or a chance they'll be like, no way, do you know how famous I am? And they will reject you. If you're rejected, then never fear, because you can simply ask again with no delay. And in the space of two game minutes, celebrities can and will change their mind. It's like magic, but not. Now getting an autograph from a celebrity will put a physical autograph into your inventory. For two star celebrities, this will be a very small photo. Three star celebrities will give you a small picture that you can place on the wall, while four and five star celebrities celebrities will see you get a beautifully framed photo of the sim with their autograph on it. Note that you can't request autographs from one star celebrities, so sorry to all the notable newcomers in your neighborhood, we sadly don't care for you. For this reason, you're of course going to want to chase down those 4 and 5 star celebrities above the rest, and their pictures can come with a white, brown or black frame at random. I still collect autographs from lower tiered celebrities too, but they're not as big of a priority. Also note autograph pictures will change depending on what sims are wearing, and this is especially important with hats appearing in autographed pictures if celebrities are wearing them, so keep this in mind when snagging those autographs. While it's more realistic to find celebrities out in public, you can actually head over to celebrities' homes and knock. Being the kind and overly trusting people that your celebrities are, they're likely to let you right on in. It's amazing for going full crazy stalker and accosting celebs in their own home. The exception here is if a celebrity lives on a lot that has the celebrity home trait, which will make it so that you need a strong relationship with the famous sim who lives there before you can even knock. Now it can be handy to get more than one autograph when you find a celebrity, both because of the different coloured frames and because you can click on autographs and appraise them with a value being placed on them shortly after. Values will vary a lot between celebrities, but in general I believe this is based off of both how many stars the celebrity is and their reputation. From my experience, more famous celebrities and those who have either extremely good or bad reputations will see their autographs valued higher. These valuations range from barely anything for 2 star celebrities, all the way to hundreds and even thousands for 4 and 5 star celebrities. Autographs can also be reappraised every 24 hours, and if the celebrity in question's status has changed, then the value of the autograph can also go up or down. I also found that autographs can sometimes just increase in value over time. It's big business and your sim will be thriving, not just surviving, after they sell a few autographs from highly famous sims. What's more is that selling autographs to collectors will see your sim gain a little bit of fame. Before long, this will see them become a one star celebrity. Now if you don't want them to be in any way famous, then of course you can just turn off fame gain. 
but otherwise it's a great entry point for your celebrity chaser sim to become a very small star themselves. Even as a one star celebrity, you can pick up the networking perk. This ties in really well and it will make socializing with other celebrities easier and will mean that they won't always reject your attempt to introduce yourself. You'll gain fame from interacting with these celebrities too, meaning that it can springboard your playstyle into becoming a socialite style celebrity. Maybe your sim will look to throw exclusive parties for celebs to mingle at or even make a celebrity club. Of course, this isn't necessary, but it can be a fun option. As you play and find more celebs and grab their autographs, you'll slowly fill up your display room, showcasing all the celebs you've annoyed just to grab their signature. Personally, I found it to be a fun little project for my sim. If you want to dial the weird factor up a bit, then you can even have your sim pick up a camera and try their hand at some celebrity photography. Whether that's taking creepy pictures from afar like the paparazzi would, or trying to go in for selfies to display. Again, it's not necessary, but it's one way to take this a little bit further. Finally, just keep in mind that while this kind of playstyle can be the focus for your sim, it can just as easily be a side hobby or hustle for them too while they focus on other things. And we've reached the end. That's how to play as a celebrity chaser in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.